Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about fluid and electrolyte balance, which comes under Unit Eight, excretory system. So let's start. First, we are going to see what is the introduction of fluid and electrolyte balance. So, fluid and electrolyte balance is a dynamic process that is crucial for life, and it plays an important role in homeostasis. Any imbalance. may result from many factors and it is associated with the illness so it is very important in our life to maintain an fluid and electrolyte balance in our body next composition of body fluids so in our body 60% of body weight is fluid so there are two types one is intracellular fluid and one is extracellular fluids intracellular fluid that is inside the cell extracellular fluid means outside the cell so extracellular fluids is again divided into interstitial transcellular intravascular interstitial fluid means that is surrounding the cell transcellular that is example is plasma and intravascular it is csf cerebrospinal fluid next electrolytes so electrolytes is a body fluids are active chemicals there are two types one is cation one is anion cation are positive charge and anion are negative charge so example of cation is sodium potassium magnesium and hydrogen ions and example of anion is chloride bicarbonate and phosphate and sulfate so these are the electrolytes which is present in the body next is water balance in our human body that is fluid so there is a chart i have shown that normal like intake and output so how much water you are drinking in a day and how much we are going out okay that is output how much we are passing the urine so you can see and that is everything in the ml so you can see the like first is water from beverages like from tea or coffee so in that we are getting like 1200 ml of water water from solid food like around 1000 ml and metabolic water from oxidation around 300 ml this is the intake means it is going in our body this is intake next is output okay that is going out of the body so through urine that is 1500 ml or through like losses from the skin and uh, lungs like as a sweat or when you are taking our breath so that expiration what we are giving through that also some amount of fluid is throwing outside and through faces means tools so there are first one is 1500 ml second 900 ml and then 100 ml so this is the sheet that how much water you are drinking per day and how much water it is going out of your body per day that everything is in ml so here is the some normal values so we have seen what are the cations and what are the anions it is there in our body but it should be in a certain amount then only it will be normal if it is less it will be problem and if it is more it will be problem just some example you can see here so sodium between 140 to 146 milli equivalent per liter it will be normal if it is more than 146 it will be problem if it is more than less than 140 also it will be problem so the unit will be milli equivalent per liter you can see the potassium it will be 4 to 5 milli equivalent per liter calcium 5 to 3 magnesium 1.5 to 1 so this is the variation same thing again for the chloride that will be 105 to 117 bicarbonate 24 to 27 sulfate will be like 1% phosphate to and protein it will be from 7 to 15 this so this is the normal value of cation and anions in the human body next one is fluid volume disturbance it means if anything it, it is more or less so what will happen so if fluid volume deficit deficit means less that time we will call it is a hypovolemia again if fluid volume is excess means more then we will call it is hypervolemia now for the same thing for electrolyte also like some example sodium deficit means sodium less we will call it is hyponatremia and if the sodium is excess we will call it is hypernatremia hypo means less and hyper means more potassium deficit hypokalemia potassium excess hyperkalemia 
calcium deficit hypocalcemia and calcium excess hypercalcemia. So, it means to maintain and fluid and electrolyte balance in our body is very important. So, it will be disturbance only if there is any related to disorder only. So, it should be taken care of. So, with this we have seen about what is fluid and what are the electrolytes it is there in our body and why it is important to maintain a balance in body fluid and electrolytes. Thank you everyone.